Hey Scorpios, and welcome back to another tarot reading. This is a general, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. So only take the part that fits Scorpio and discard the rest. Yes, Scorpio, I'm behind the screen again. Like I shared with you guys earlier, and I know it's not fair to everyone, but sometimes I just need to reserve my energy because I put in a lot of work out here and I'm not getting... I don't feel like I'm getting the love I deserve. I'm not complaining, but I'm just doing what I have to do, Scorpio. I will still be doing your readings. I just not may not always be available on face-to-face -face time. So enjoy the reading, Scorpio, because this is a general. So it's not going to resonate for every single Scorpio out here. So let's see what's going on and who is coming towards you. Spirit, show me the energy of the person or the people coming towards Scorpio. So you do have this Knight of Cups here. So you could have a, a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces coming towards you. Somebody, a, a hopeless romantic. Someone is uh, wanting to offer you their cup of love here. Someone here, like they say, someone here wants to sweep you off of your feet. Show you some things you've never not, uh, been seen before. Uh, maybe this is someone here who may be a little bit younger than you. So let's see here, Spirit. Who's coming towards Scorpio? Queen of Pentacles here. Now, either you got two different people coming to you or someone is coming towards you because they feel like you're somebody here who could, um, you know, build a life with them. You, you could be someone who they look at as someone who's very, very valuable. Someone here who could be a marriage material here. Someone here who they could build a life with here. So let's see. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Ace of Swords here. So some type of truth, some type of clarity, a, a victory, a breakthrough, a new beginning here. Now this could very well be someone trying to come in here because um, I do see the Page of Cups and the Eight of Swords here. So maybe this is someone here who wants to, maybe this is the beginning stages here. Maybe this is someone here who, when they look at you, they don't need to see no more. They feel like they've already seen enough in what you've shown them. You have the qualities that they feel like they need in establishing some type of foundation here. And I feel like this could be at the beginning stages where someone who could be crushing on you, uh, they may have not uh, made the attempt yet. They may have not uh, physically did it. But like I say, they already know what they need to know about you. They're confident that you're the one for them. Six of Wands here. See, this is someone here who has really been observing you. This is someone here who I feel like wants to do something really, really amazing in order to get your attention here. Now, this could be someone watching you uh, in your neighborhood, on your job, uh, on social media here. Someone here, uh, someone could be watching you from the internet because I did see the world card here. Uh, but this is someone here who I feel like wants your attention here. Somebody wants your attention and you may, they may not be talking loud enough, God dang it, but I feel like they want your attention because look at you got the, you got the page and the knight going up against this queen here. So for whoever this is, they see you as the queen of pentacles, somebody here who is stable, a uh, good, good, uh, uh, a work ethics, a boss, uh, somebody who they can settle down with and build something here. But maybe they haven't said enough. Maybe, maybe this is someone here who has been trying to hit on you, but, but, but they too timid. You know, you may be looking for a whole goddamn me king and not no page and not no knight here. But in their mind, you're everything they want. And all they want to do is to say and do the right thing that's going to get your attention. Because I feel like they ain't getting your attention now. You probably you probably tell them, little boy, don't you still got milk around your your your, your, uh, chin, your uh, lip? Ain't that milk? That, now, I know that's milk. That ain't no powdered donut. That's milk. <laughs> Call me back when you got a fuzz. <laughs> and then here they come. Well, I got a fuzz now. <laughs> well, call me back when you got chest, hair on your chest. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpio and this person coming to a Scorpio? Six of Swords here. So this person may have left a chaotic situation here, Scorpio. Uh, maybe they, they're leaving something that was confusing to them. 
with the seven of cups. So maybe this person had other options here. Maybe this was a playboy kind of, so to speak, with this knight of cups, you know, a prince charming, you know, out 444, out to look, looking out for something good until they ran across you. And now they said they said they finna get away from all them other options because them other options was just too confusing because they already know what they need to know about you, that you are the one for them. Oh, that's what they saying. Let me clarify these real quick, Scorpio. And I'm pulling some more cards here. So you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And you have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy here. So let's see here. All right, let's see. How is the weather where you guys are at, Scorpio? I know I've been watching some of the uh, weather channels here, and they're talking about up there north, they're talking about severe storm of ice and snow, and they're down here in the south. As you know, they're talking about tornadoes and storms and lightning and all that stuff like that. I just don't like the lightning. I don't like the thunder either, but I love the rain, but... Hey, it is what it is. So let's see. Now let's find out who this person is and what they got going on and why they want you, Scorpio. Well, we know why they want you. You're sitting here as the Queen of Pentacles. Why wouldn't they want you? Let's start off with this Knight of Cups here, Spirit. What's up with this Knight of Cups for Scorpio? Who is this person? This energy of this Knight of Cups coming towards Scorpio, Spirit. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Scorpios. Knight of Cups is the Magician card. Could be a Pisces here because you do got water energy. This is somewhere here willing to do whatever they have to do to get you, God dang me. Because they already know they got a gem. They said they got one right here. They said, man, I ain't got to worry about eating no summer sausage and no by eating the sausages for dinner. I'm going to have me a whole full course meal dealing with this Scorpio Queen of Pentacles here. So this is somebody here who looks upon you like you're everything and they, they're they trying to manifest you. They're trying to do whatever they got to do to get this Queen of Pentacles Scorpios. Spirit, clarify this Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is the Page of Wands here. But maybe that I feel like this person's like I feel like this person's gonna take it slow, or I feel like this is just some some type of um, beginning stages here. This is someone trying to study what they have to do, trying to figure out what are the steps, what should they say? Because if they're younger than you, they're dealing with the whole uh, a very very uh, successful Scorpio here. So it's almost like you a boss and you got this little boy trying to trying to wash your car without a shirt on or you know trying to get your attention so they're gonna they feel like they're gonna have to really do something because you seem to have it all in this queen of pentacles but they also are willing to do whatever it takes to get you to Ooh, scorpio look you and your see oh they obsessed see could be a capricorn see this person they they are focused on trying to figure out what will it take to get you Somebody's trying to figure out whatever it takes to get you, I would do. <laughs> they say whatever it takes to get Scorpio spirit, I will do it. Ooh, Scorpio, they'll do whatever, honey. Now you got this Queen of Pentacles spirit. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here for Scorpio's energy? Or this person coming towards Scorpio? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Queen of Pentacles is the moon card. They go that Pisces energy again. Because I feel like someone may be secretly afraid of you because they may be feeling like they're out of their league here. Especially if it's a person who's a little bit younger than you, Scorpio. I feel like this person, all they do is think about you, but at the same time, you kind of intimidate them. They're afraid because they are obsessing over you. But I feel like this person's trying to, like I say, this person feels like you got it all. You got it going on here. What do you give the Queen of Pentacles when she has it all? At least this is how they're looking at you. But... I feel like there's some intimidation here because like I said, I feel like this person could be kind of afraid because they are younger than you. Spirit, clarify this Queen of Pentacles for the person coming towards Scorpios.
Eight of Pentacles here, see? Because they may, this person may be afraid that, because I feel like this is fear. This person may be feel like they're not going to measure up, that they're not going to be able to keep up. With this eight of pentacles, cause cause they could be looking at like God dang, you are already the queen of pentacles. You gonna want me to, but they they coming in with the magician card. So, but I feel like their hidden fears is that even though they're willing to do whatever it takes to get you, there still is some fear attached to this person, cause they may be feeling like that that that, that it's gonna be a lot of work to get you. Ooh, they may be saying it's a lot of work to get you, Scorpio. Ooh, clarify this queen of pentacles for the person coming towards Scorpio. Ah, but this this is going to make them get up and go, though, ain't it? <laughs> I tell you that, Ace of Wands, see, this is a spark. A spark here. This person feels like they can do whatever, Scorpio. It's almost like this person feels like they're going to have to really put their work in to get you, <laughs> Scorpio. They said they're going to really have to put their work in to get your ass, Scorpio, because you high maintenance here. you doing your own thing here, and you may be older than them. <laughs> oh, you could be dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, and the Aries with the Ace of Wands here, Scorpio. See? Now you got the Ace of Swords here. This is true victory, uh, clarity, communication here. Why is this Ace of Swords here for the person coming to a Scorpio spirit? Clarify the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Look, they go to Six of Pentacles. See, that's the merchant being generous. Somebody want to be generous here. Like, I feel like this person, like I, like I feel like this Ace of Swords represents, they are already confident that you're the one for them. They don't have to second guess and what they found out about you so far, their soul, they know. And this person know that they're going to have to come in here and do something, Scorpio. They know that they're going to have to do something because they see you already doing it on your own. And it low key, uh, 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 kind of, uh, you know, kind of intimidate them, but they see the bigger picture, God dang me. <laughs> they see the benefits, God dang, uh, of being with the Scorpio here. So they're, they're willing to put their work in in order to get that work. <laughs> <laughs> so with this ace of swords and the six of pentacles they are obviously aware that they're gonna have to invest they can't come in and do you any kind of way they don't care if you already got they know for you in order for them to be in your life they're the magician like they fun like they got it they can do whatever then they're gonna have to do it and this person's well aware that they got to show you they can't just talk about it they got to be about it because you can have anybody else you can just, you can send them on their way. You can go get you a whole new, new person here at Scorpio. <laughs> oh, you got, see, see, this is why, see? Because you're the freaking empress. Ooh, Scorpio. And they find you beautiful and attractive. And they already know, Scorpio, that you ain't playing no games. See, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. See? Because you very seldom show up in that Queen of Pentacles, but you always be in that Queen of uh, Empress and that Queen of Wands. See, this is why they're willing to do whatever here, Scorpio, because they find you extremely beautiful, attractive, very sensual, very secretive, very uh, very abundant here. The, but you can tell it's abundant. You can tell it's the abundant, Scorpio, because you got the Queen of Pentacles here. Not the Queen of Cups. Not only that, but you got somebody who takes action, who is flossing, who is, you know, want to have your fun. You know, you'll go there with them, but they got to come with something here. So, yeah, they are aware that you're not like anybody else that they've ever dealt with. They're going to actually have to put in some work on this one. They got to put in some work with this Scorpio right here. You ain't like the rest of them, and they are aware of it. So now you have the Six of Swords here. Spirit, why is the Six of Swords here for Scorpio? Clarify the Six of Swords for Scorpio. Why is this here? Six of Swords. Ha! Huh? This person said they're going towards happiness, god dang me. They're going towards Scorpio. Like I said, I feel like this person left a lot of other options here because they just was not on this person's level because I feel like this person wanted to do big things and the people that they were entertaining was not big, t big people uh, appropriate, okay? Until they ran across you now either they ran across you or they're going to run across you could be a leo could be a capricorn a pisces a libra taurus aquarius leo scorpio here all right spirit clarify this six of swords for the person coming to a scorpio huh, 
Six of Wands, there it go again, see? This person going, this person left a situation. As soon as they left a situation, they ran right into you. You was just sitting there glowing, sitting at the bus stop, popping your gum, eating your Dunkin' Donuts, drinking your Starbucks coffee, whatever you was doing. See, they ran right into their sunshine. They recognized you instantly because you got that glow on you, which only that empress has here because she got a lot of abundance, a lot of growth. Uh, she, she's in tune with nature. She's in tune with her emotions and the elements here. She's indeed a tremendous asset for anybody. But you got to be on that level in order to receive it because everybody can't handle that. So see, as soon as this person left all of whatever they were dealing with, they ran right into their happiness here. And they couldn't help but to notice you, Scorpio, because you're glowing. See? And when they see you, look. Mm. Ten of Pentacles, they see a long term with you. And this person want to match your energy, baby. They said they can handle it. <laughs> they said that they, they'll marry you, god dang it. They'll do whatever they have to do just to keep a smile on your pretty face, Scorpio. Ooh. Now you got the Page of Cups here. Spirit, why is this Page of Cups here for Scorpio? Clarify the Page of Cups for Scorpio. Why is the Page of Cups here for Scorpios? Maybe this is an apology here. Maybe. For some of you, maybe. Page of Cups. Huh? Queen of Swords here. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. So maybe someone here... Now, if this is someone from your past, okay, then they are apologizing to you maybe because they were cold or maybe this person wants to take their time with you because they are, they just left something and they just, it's almost like this person don't want to rush in, but they want to do it right here. I see the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups here. You got a lot going on here. It could be multiple people coming your way. You could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius who may want to come back in or who is secretly crushing on you, or who wants to bring you some type of apology here. Clarify the page of cups for the person coming to a Scorpio. And then it could be someone that you know that's coming to you. Could be a Pisces. They go to Pisces again. Someone here who you're not talking to, but they're on apologizing for something that they did, but you may not be, be having it with this Queen of Swords and this High Priestess energy here, Scorpio. Because I feel like for some of y'all, you only focusing on your stability and you ain't, you ain't trying to hit nothing. Who Scorpio, clarify the page of cuss for the person coming towards Scorpio. Nine of Wands here. There's somebody that's wounded. It's somebody here who has had a lot of things. There's somebody who could be somebody here who's trying to come in and bring you some type of apology, but they may look at you like you don't want to hear it. This is why they're trying to do all this behind the scenes here. But they're secretly not telling you that, that they want you back. But it's because of something that they've been through. This person's a wounded soldier yet again. They have experienced bad experiences too that has them kind of detached here. So if this is someone that you know, then this is someone here who brought their baggage into your relationship. And now that you're sitting as the queen of pentacles here, you're going on with your life. You're striving after something beautiful. And this person may want to take the relationship from tumultuous, uh, from to calmer waters here because you're sitting as the queen of swords and they already know you don't want to hear nothing. Meanwhile, they may want to try to come in here and sweep you off of your feet because they're obsessing over you. They want a long-term uh, relationship with you, but they may be looking, they may be intimidated here because they already look at you like they're going to have to put in their work just to get, <laughs> it's almost like they're going to they gonna have to work for this love. They, they can't just come in here and just read no quotes or no scriptures or, or, or no poems. Now they got to actually put in some work here. So this person is well aware that you're high maintenance and if they want anything to do with you, they're going to have to roll up their sleeves and get down and dirty. They're going to have to get dirty. They're going to have to get, they're going to have to get, pull the sleeves up and get down there and get dirty if they really want you here. And like I say, this person has a lot of passion for you, but they're going to come in here trying to talk sweet to you. They are. Now you got the six of wands again. Why is the six of wands here for Scorpios? Six of Wands is the Two of Wands here. So victory and success here, directions, choices, uh, planning. This person is planning for victory. 
Because once again, they want this relationship. They want more with you. See, four of wands here. This is someone here who is planning uh, uh, the direction that they want to go in their life. And the way that they're going is towards you. And they want it to work out. They're, they're adamant that it has to work out here, Scorpio. Because it's almost like this person feel like they only got one shot. <laughs> I feel like somebody feel like they only got one shot in it because you got they dealing with the Empress, the Queen of Pentacles Empress. Got that Queen of Wands too. So you you got all the queens here except for the Queen of Cups. See, this is why this person know you ain't playing because you got all the queens and the Empress. The only queen you do not have is that Queen of Cups. So this person is well aware that they can't play on your emotions. They can't come in here and stun on you. They can't come in here and get no sympathy. No, you are serious here. And it's almost like somebody feels like they only got one chance to get this right. And if they don't get it right, that's that's just it. See, this person feel like they only got one chance to get this right. See? Because <laughs> if they don't get this right, then they feel like it's gone forever here, Scorpio. That's what I feel like it is. Somebody feels like they only have one chance to get you right. They don't, someone feels like they only have one chance to get you back. And if they mess this up, it's, it's gone forever. All right, Spirit, what else for the person coming to us, Scorpio? Somebody feels like they only have one chance to get this right. They go to King of Rise again. Leo Sagittarius, you got a fire sign really showing up in here. Oh, but you also got that King of Swords. Well, there you go. And the King Queen of Cups. So for some of you, Scorpios, you got two people here. And it's so ironic because how these cars is looking, ain't nobody really paying attention to nobody. Everybody looking ahead here. Everybody's looking forward here. Nobody's looking at the other. See, somebody's looking ahead, you looking at their back. You looking ahead, they looking at your back. You could be in the middle of two connections here. You could be at a fire sign and an air sign. Leo, Sagittarius, an Aries, uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So there you go with that Queen of Cups here. But there is a solid offer coming in here, Scorpio. And I feel like what the universe is telling you is that everybody can't ride this wheel. Because the wheel says turn. You're going to have to make up your mind who goes and who stays. And I don't feel like this is them. I feel like this is what's showing up in your energy. Even though it's them. But I feel like... Because look, now, now there go that Queen of Swords again. See, because I feel like you're not going to take certain things from people here. You're going to decide. For some people, you're going to reject. For some people, you may be rejecting here, while others, you may be accepting here. But you sure got some hell of an energy coming your way. And they're dealing with the no nonsense. You just want facts here. You ain't playing no games. And I feel like somebody knows that. Somebody feel like they only have one chance to get it right with you, Scorpio, and that's for real. Someone feels like the, the wheel has finally turned back around in their favor. They're hoping that things can be repaired now that the clock has turned again. The wheel has turned, and they're hoping that this last chance, they feel like they only got one more chance. It's like the gods have opened up the windows of heaven to, to grant Scorpio X's wishes here, and they're realizing that they only have one chance to try to get you back. And if they fail this time, because they feel like this Queen of Swords ain't playing no goddamn me games here. She only want the facts. She ain't playing no games because she don't have to have you. She, she's good now. They feel like they only have one opportunity, one last chance to make this work. Because if they don't get it right this time, Scorpio, I feel like this person or these people feel like they're going to miss out forever on something that possibly could have been something very, very beautiful here. Because you got the four of wands and you got the ten of pentacles. So something can happen, but seems like you're not going for it because you ain't, you ain't got to. You the empress. They're, none of these are the emperor. They're all kings, but you the empress with all your queens. So yeah, you ain't taking it now. You're not you you're not standing for any of that now. You want facts, you want honesty, you want people to say what they mean, mean what they say, or other than that, you're not going to deal with it. And people already know it, Scorpio. It's like you got an advantage here. For whoever that's been watching you and monitoring you and sizing you up, they know that you are a good catch, but they also know that you ain't playing no games. That if, if you find any fault or error in them, it's going to be over. If you got the Ten of Pentacles here twice, see? Because somebody want the Ten of Pentacles with you with the Six of Wands and Ten of Pentacles here. They do. Somebody wants this with you, but they know they only have one chance to get it right, Scorpio. 
All right, Scorpio, this is your reading. So if it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Scorpio, thank you guys so much for your support. I do appreciate you guys very, very much. Please understand, uh, I love you guys so much, and I appreciate your support. You guys are amazing. Uh, but just like you, I have to guard my energy too. And, and I appreciate your understanding, Scorpio. So once again, Scorpio, if this video resonates, please thumbs up this video. Leave me a high vibrational comment. Thank you guys so, so much for rocking with me, Scorpio. I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.